Hello, friend. My name is Bishop O. Olaofe, and this is my beloved wife. I'm Bishop Alexi Olaofe. We want to welcome you to this service today. I want you to know that God has you on his mind yes. when he packaged this service. There's a miracle with your name on it. Amen. There's a miracle that's getting ready to happen in your life. Amen. Something good is about to happen Amen. to you. You're about to hear from God a word that's going to change your life, yes. uh, rewrite your story, Amen. reorder things in your favor. Amen. So this is a special moment. I want you to make sure that you uh, just space out this few minutes and pay attention to what God is about to do in your life. Amen. Because great things are going to happen in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't watch alone. Make sure you invite somebody. Amen. God bless you, woman of God. You know, welcome Amen. God's people. Amen. You are welcome to the service. Please send in your prayer requests. We have um, people standing by to pray with you. We would love to hear what God is doing in your life as well. Let us know your testimonies, your praise report. The service is about to start. Come on, let's join the service right now. God bless you. God bless you. See you on the other side. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints of God. It's always a joy to be in the house of the Lord today. The Bible tells us in Psalm 29 and from verse 1, it said, Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Shall we together lift up our voice and begin to give God the glory that is due to his name? Let's begin to ascribe glory to him, honor, praise, and majesty. He is a good father. He is faithful, compassionate, loving, caring, faithful, and kind. Shall we lift up our voice and begin to ascribe glory to him? The psalmist said, give unto the Lord glory. Give unto the Lord praise. Give unto the Lord worship. Give unto the Lord adoration. Let us lift up our voice and give God praise today. Let us ascribe glory to him the one who is worthy to be praised he is worthy to be adored he is worthy to be lifted up he is worthy to be exalted there is not like him from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same the name of the Lord is to be praised let's join the host of heaven to worship him let us enjoy let's glorify his name let us enjoin even the angels to worship him let us ask Ascribe glory and praise to his name. Leye keto branda kali e brosha tere baha. Le zeze lima anka libra ado libra ashete. Mansoto la grinde li bahade de devosata. We worship you, precious king. We love you. We honor you. We glorify your name. We bless you, king of all the earth. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We worship you. We bless your name. Let's begin to thank God for bringing us to this brand new year. Let's thank him for joining the last year with us. Let's thank him for his strength, for his help, for his faithfulness towards us. Let's appreciate him and give him thanks. Father, we are grateful. We thank you. We see your hand every day upon our lives. We see your hand. We see your hand. We see your hand. Thank you for strengthening us. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your loving kindness. Kindness. Thank you for your tender mercies. Thank you for your goodness to us, O God. Le kato brahadere bo shata. Manzu teke legende rida bo satari. Le kreto langredo la bratakale yede. Le sunze lienge librato loba ashata. Let's thank you for bringing us to a brand new year. It's a brand new season, brand new opportunities. Let's thank you for what he has in store for the next 12 months of this year. Let's thank him for January. Thank him for February and March and April. Thank him for May and June and July. Thank him for August, September, October, November. Thank him for going ahead of us. Father, we thank you. Thank you for making the crooked road straight, oh God. Thank you for removing mountains on our ways. Thank you, Lord, for being our Alpha and Omega. Thank you for holding in our hands, oh God. Thank you for fighting our battles, oh God. Thank you for your blessings continually. Thank you for loading us daily with better.
benefit. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. Leia canto librando lebo. La kesha tale kentoria. Le suse tenge librando lie. Masata kalubra anderie. Le se seleke tolo brandaria. Father, we thank you. We worship you. We bless your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us commit today's service into the mighty hands of the Lord. Let us pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to see your power and your glory as we have always seen it in the sanctuary. We want to see it again. We want to encounter it again. We want to see your power and your glory. Father, you say where two or three are gathered together. You are then the midst of them we want to see your power again your glory in the name of Jesus let lies be changed let situations be turned around let direction come for somebody let someone be helped again out of Zion let someone receive joy oh God let someone be strengthened again today let Manzunza Likato Rashenda Lilamanderie Le Santo Lubrandaka Le Sute Kelema Andele Boshata La Kata Brandoria Le questions be answered Let help come mighty God Let our eyes of understanding be enlightened Let someone receive help out of Zion today We want to see your power again Your glory mighty God In the midst of us precious father we give you praise we give you glory we worship you precious king thank you heavenly father oh we worship you we love you what a good god you are in the mighty name of jesus let us thank god for the time of praise and worship let us pray and say father in the name of jesus we thank you as we begin to sing praise unto you we ask that you will inhabit our praise again today father ride on the wings of our praise lord you are the god that enjoys praise father praise is comely unto you you are the god that enjoys praise lord as we begin to sing unto you as we begin to pray praise you today we ask that you will ride on the wings of our praise again let our praise be a sweet smelling silver unto your nostrils oh god well i'm pleasing unto you lord as we begin to praise let shackles be broken let chains be broken let prison doors be open let joy rejoice in celebration and go for us again today in the name of the lord jesus Shata, le senge libran toriande, la ke to branda libahade, le shata legedo ma anderia. Father, ride on the wings of our praise. We worship you. We love you. We honor you, precious King. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name, mighty God. Le kato brashatariye, man ke to brahade lege zutalia, le suse tenge librando di la. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' precious name. Let us thank God for the word that the Lord has prepared for us again today. Oh, is a banquet child of God. Let us pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. We know that your word is powerful. We know that your word is life. Father, we are praying today that everyone's word will come today. Everyone will receive their own unique word. Everyone will receive a custom-made word for them. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, let your word come in today. Transform our lives. Build us up again. Father, Lord, develop us in every aspect of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are praying, O oh God, for understanding and revelation of your word. In the name of Jesus. Let everyone have an aha moment, O oh God. Father, Lord, cause us to see and behold wondrous things out of your law. In the 
in the mighty name of Jesus. The God that honors his word. Father, honor your word again in the midst of us today. We thank you for the power of your word. We know that the spirit of your word will enter us. Father, set us on our feet in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace for everyone to be attentive to your word. Father, grace to mix the word with faith we receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We glorify you. We thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' precious name. Let us pray for God's servant today. Let's pray for our presiding bishop, Allah. Let us say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your servant. We ask that you will walk with him again today. Confirm the word. He will speak again with signs and wonders following. Let your word coming out of his mouth accomplish its purpose in every life and in every situation. We pray for fresh oil and fresh grace. We pray for divine enablement. We pray for the spirit of God. Father, to walk with him and walk in him. Father, quicken him again today. Father, you say you will give us pastors according to your heart who will feed us with knowledge and understanding. Father, thank you for feeding him so that he can in turn feed your people. We pray for grace and divine enablement, O oh God. Catega Libra Anderia Laketo Brandele Bosho to Galila Lace Tenge Lila Brota Labaha Father, we thank you for your servant. Walk with him again. We pray for multiplied grace. We pray for divine enablement. We thank you for signs and wonders, O oh God, accompanying the preaching of your word. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your holy name in Jesus' precious name. Let us pray for the saints of God. Let us pray for everyone that has been beaten. Let us pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for your people, everyone that ought to be into this service. Father, Lord, let no one miss their moments in destiny. Let no one miss their appointment, O oh God. You have prepared a banquet before us. Let no one miss their own place, Heavenly Father. Let men and women arise, Heavenly Father. We pray for those in the valley of the session. Let them rise up, O oh God. We pray for those that have been held back father in the name of jesus we break every hold of the enemy in the name of jesus spirits of the living god we ask that you will quicken the hearts of your people so that they can know that they have an appointment with you so they can know the beauty of coming to zion in the name of jesus let no one miss the appointment with you let no one miss this great banquet that you have set before us in the mighty name of jesus holy spirit of the living god we pray that you will empower and encourage your people oh god share their hearts and their mind i was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the lord let many rejoice and be glad as they come today father we thank you blessed be your holy name in the name of jesus let's pray for our giving and offering today let us say father in the name of jesus we thank you for another privilege to bring our tithes our offerings our kingdom advancement seed lord as we cast our bread tonight father we know that after many days we will find it you said we should give it shall be given unto us good measure pressed down shaking together and running over you will cause men to give to our bosom father lord as we partner with you we pray that you continue to enlarge our coast we pray for increase oh god we thank you lord for open heavens continually in the name of jesus enlarge our coast heavenly father increase us on every side 
thank you precious king in the mighty name of jesus in one minute go ahead and pray for yourself say father lord these and these are my expectation in this service today lord i don't want to live the same way i have come i want to have an encounter with you in the name of jesus father speak to my heart father give me direction father heal me father help me whatever is your desire go ahead and bring it to the lord oh calibro shata caliba seteria lengredo labrata caliede mashita lebrunda leba hato leza zenga librantoya leza ntekele monja talia let us lift up our voice and begin to give god thanks for answered prayers he is a prayer answering god he is a prayer answering god lift up your voice let us say father we thank you for hearing our prayers today thank you for answering our prayers today thank you lord you will exceed our expectations in the name of jesus no one will go back disappointed no one will go back with without their testimony and their miracles today thank you lord for the healings thank you for the deliverances thank you for direction oh god thank you for help out of zion thank you for strengthening each and every one of us father we give you thanks we give you praise exceed our expectation father lord we honor you we give you all the praise we glorify your name thank you heavenly father in the name of jesus father we thank you unto you lord is the gathering of your people we have gathered to you tonight we ask that you will have full expression in this place holy spirit of the living god we cannot do anything without you breathe upon us fresh bread from heaven touch every life touch everyone that is here move on him that mighty god do what only you alone can do in the precious name of jesus we take authority over contrary spirits we cancel your activity tonight in the name of jesus father we thank you we bless your holy name in jesus precious name we have prayed in jesus precious name we have prayed is someone excited to be in the house of the lord let us rejoice let us clap let us shout hallelujah amen you're welcome to church let's welcome the praise team hallelujah
thank you. Um, you know, last week was New Year's Eve, <laughs> and I had been, I had a power surge. I don't know how many of you live in Cobb County, but I had one power surge in the first part of December, and it knocked out my heat and my alarm. And then another night, I had four power surges, and it killed my computer. So I just was having a real just attack on finances and, you know, comfort, and it was getting pretty cold. So God had my brother come, and he, he fixed some things in my house, but he couldn't fix the heat. So <laughs> New Year's Eve, I, I just was praying, and I felt the Lord tell me. He said, just because I bought a new thermostat, I thought, well, it may have been the thermostat. So I bought the thermostat, and I put the batteries in it, and lo and behold, it worked. So I had heat going out for 2023, and I have heat now. So I'm praising God it's on in my house now. Amen. So, and, and I know that may seem a minor thing, but when you don't have heat, it really is a major yes, thing. Yes, it so, is. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Thank God for his faithfulness. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Let's just lift up our voices. Let's recognize God's presence. Let's worship him. Let's celebrate his goodness, his love, his plan, his purpose for us. Let's thank him for bringing us into his presence. Let's thank him for his amazing plan for our lives. God is a good God. God wants to do us good. He wants to take us places we have never been. He wants to take us places we cannot go on our own. Let him hear your voice. The word of God said, blessed is the man, the woman, the boy, the girl, the person that God chooses and calls to approach unto him. He said, we shall be satisfied with the goodness of his house, even of his holy temple. Satisfaction is guaranteed for you and I this hour. So lift up your voice and just magnify the Lord. Let God hear your voice. Register your presence in his presence. Mandali mandorobo segedegede. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We worship your majesty presence. We worship you, O oh God, the great God, the good God. Thank you, O oh God, for being mighty in our midst. Thank you for what you are set to do. Thank you for drawing us to yourself. We give you praise. We release ourselves into your able hands. We are asking, O oh God, that in these few minutes, you will speak to our hearts. You will touch our lives. You will touch our situations, our desires, our condition. You will transform our lives. Let there be a renewal in our spirit. Lord, we thank you for miracles, signs and wonders. Let it accompany the preaching of your word. Heal the sick, O oh God. Deliver the oppressed. Set the captives free. Encourage the discouraged. Strengthen the weak, O oh God. Make the poor rich. Make the rich richer. Glorify the name of your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for salvation of soul for the lost. In the name of Jesus, we bind Satan we bind principalities we bind powers rulers of this darkness of this world we frustrate their influence against our lives against this service against anything and everything that pertains to do with us in the name of Jesus Christ and we release the Holy Spirit of God to move on him that like never before thank you father do great things and take all the glory in Jesus mighty name we pray and all of God's people say, come on, let's give the Lord a big, big, big clap offering. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Glory to God. There is a miracle with your name on it. Amen. Something good is going to happen to you today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Joyce, my to welcome you in the house. Good to see you beautiful faces. Happy New Year to you all. And Joyce, my to welcome you there on Zoom, on YouTube, Facebook, FM TV Live. Uh, wherever you are watching from, Hoffman Glow, we are glad you are part of this service. If you are watching on YouTube, we want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Turn on your notification button so that every time we come on, you can be notified. You can be rest assured that every time we come on, God will turn on a blessing in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you are watching on Orphan Global, there's a button coming up on your screen. Click that button and invite somebody to be a part of this uh, service and God will bless you. What you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. If you are watching on FMTVLive.com, our 24-hour, seven days a week, Fate and Miracle TV Network, we encourage you to keep watching. 
watching and, and to share the good news with your friends, your loved ones, and your colleagues and family. And in case you're not aware, we have a 24 hours, seven days a week, Faith and Miracle TV network. It's called fmtvlive.com. You can always watch it on your phone, your computer device, anywhere you are in the world, 24 hours, seven days a week. God bless you. We also want to encourage you to download our app. Uh, it's free. It's available. You can listen to Hoffman Radio on the app. It's available on Google Store. Uh, app, 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 I mean, Google PlayStation and App Store. God bless you. So get the Hoffman app. Praise God. Yeah, we thank God. Amen. All right. <laughs> Something good is coming to us in Jesus' name. Well, I have a word from God for you today. Are you ready to hear from God? Well, it's our year, it's a new year, and uh, we have a prophetic word. Every year, God gives us a prophetic word uh, to help us shape our focus and to, you know, position our, align our expectation to know what we want to receive from God or what God wants to do in our lives. The prophetic word says, it's my year of positive development. Can I hear you say with me? Say 2024. 2024. It's my year. Of positive development. positive development. Can you say it one more time? Say 2024, 2024. is my, my year of positive development. Positive development. What that means is that God wants to bring some expansion into your life. Amen. He wants to enlarge you. Amen. He wants to do some new things in your life. Amen. He wants to develop your character. Amen. He wants to refine your personality. Amen. He wants to increase your sphere of influence. Amen. He wants to make you healthier than before. He wants to bring important connections into your life. Amen. So God wants to do so many good things in our lives. So this is going to be a year of positive development for every one of us Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Somebody say this year, this year. I'm going to develop and I'm also going to develop a closer walk with Jesus. Amen. Amen. And also we have a prophetic team for the month. Every month God gives us a prophetic team. Uh, also to align us with the plan and purpose of God for our lives. And also to uh, help shape our focus. To know what to do and what to expect from God. So our prophetic team for the month says developing a sure and firm foundation for great and positive development which God will bring into my life. Is a mouthful, but it's a mouthful of blessing. Can we say together? I say developing, developing a sure, a sure and, firm and firm foundation for great and positive development. For great and positive development which God will bring into my life. One more time, say so developing, developing a, sure a sure and firm foundation, and firm foundation for, great and for great and positive development, which God will bring, which God will bring into, my life. into my life. Amen. Amen. Well, because of the development that God wants to bring into our lives, we need to have a sure and a firm foundation. Yeah. Development, you can look at it in terms of like a building. If you want to build a structure, the size, the height of the building is dependent on the foundation. Yeah. So God wants to develop our lives. He wants to build us up. We heard in the church, he said, when the Lord shall build up Zion, it shall appear in his glory. So the glory of God is about to be re revealed in our life. The greatness of God is about to be seen in our lives. So but what we need is at this hour is a sure foundation, a firm foundation that you know God can build upon. So this month we're going to be laying some positive, powerful uh, foundations. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Spiritual foundations so that God can build in our lives. In uh, Psalm 11 verse 3, it says, if the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? Amen. Psalm 11 verse 3, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? So, without a solid foundation, uh, the righteous can go far. Can I hear amen? amen? So we need to have our foundation. Most times when you see a problem in a person's life or in any you know, situation, 
the problem is usually with the foundation. <laughs> the foundation of our faith, the foundation of our beliefs, the foundation of our lives. So most problem is usually a foundational problem. You see, many people try to solve their problem uh, at the surface level. If you see anything wrong with the with the with the with the, with the fruit or a tree, you don't change you don't change it on the fruit. You go to the roots. Can I hear you? Amen? Because you can't change the fruit until you deal with the roots. But many people want to change, you know, deal with uh, the fruit and the leaves and never get to the root. So we want to start from the root. Uh, another powerful scripture here, uh, Psalm 127, verse number one. It says, except the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain that builds it. Except the Lord keepeth the city, the watchmen wicked but in vain. It's only the house that the Lord built that stands. Yes, Hello somebody. So God wants to build our life. He wants to develop our lives so that we can endure, we can succeed, we can excel, we can become everything that God wants us to be. We can fulfill our purpose in life and reach our fullest destiny. Amen. Can I hear you? Amen. amen. So we want to ensure and open up to God and receive a spiritual foundation. Uh, the Bible says in verse 2 of that same scripture, it says, it is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, and to eat the bread of sorrow, for he giveth his beloved sleep. So it's not by power, it's not by mind, it's not by human effort. Mm -hmm. Can I hear you, amen? You see some people, you know, they work very hard. Now, there's nothing wrong with hard work, but they are never successful. They put in energy and effort into many things. They say it is vain to rise up early, to sit up late. They walked late. Like Peter one time, he said he toiled all night and caught nothing. Yeah, but this year, you will not have vain labor in the name of yeah. Jesus. All your labor will have fruit. Yeah. You will be productive yeah. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Glory be to God. So he said he giveth his beloved sleep. That means he brings rest into uh, the life of those whom he loves. So God wants to give us rest. Yeah. And he wants to beautify our lives. Yeah. Can I hear you? Amen. Yeah. He wants to bring new possibilities. You see, when we talk about new year, every time you see a new year, it means God has something new that he wants to do in our life. New year talks about new opportunities, new potential, new possibilities, new doors. So God has new things that he wants to do in your life and in my life. Can I hear you? Amen. Something new is going to happen to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You're going to experience new things in your relationship, in your career. God wants to do new things. In Isaiah 43 and verse number 18, Isaiah, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a teacher, also a preacher, but I love for us to just get into the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He said, well, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Yeah, God is saying, forget about your disappointments, your setbacks. He said, remember those things no more. Your losses, your pain. He said, remember those things no more. Your struggles, your defeat. Why? Verse 18, he said, behold, I will do a new thing. Hallelujah. Somebody say, God wants to do a new thing in my life. So God has new things for you. God has new things in our future. God wants to do something new in our lives, on our job, in our career. So he said, forget, don't allow the disappointment, the setbacks, the struggles of the past to hold you back. Open up for the possibilities. What God wants to do in your life, in my life. Hallelujah. The NIV, can you look at the NIV here? It said, forget the former things. Don't dwell on the past. Hello, somebody. We're waiting. Forget what? The former things. Do not dwell on the past. You see, if you dwell on the past, you can't receive the present. You can't do anything about your past. Your past is past. Hallelujah. And your future, you are not there yet. So you can only focus on your present. To maximize in your life, always focus on the moment. Hallelujah. Don't allow the past 
you know, the regrets of the past, uh, the disappointment of the past, or the fear of the future can keep you from what God wants to do in your life. Because God is always in the now of our life. Yeah. Look at the next verse here. It says, see, I am doing a new thing. When? Now. Hallelujah. Someone say, God is doing a new thing now. God is doing a new thing now. He said, now it springs up. Yeah. The power of God is activated in our life when we live in the now. Yeah. When you learn to live in the now. So receive the grace to be in the now. Yeah. You see, many people are never fulfilled and they never enjoy their life because it's either they are uh, worried about their past, mm -hmm. hello somebody, Amen. or disturbed about their past, mm -hmm. or they are, uh, uh, they are full of anxiety about their future. Yeah. But they never in the moment. But God wants you to enjoy every moment he gives to you. Hallelujah. You are in church right now. Enjoy this moment. Yeah. Everything that God has for you. Open up your spirit. Yeah. Enjoy the moment. Yeah. Because God is in the moment. God is in the now. He can be, he can be speaking to you. Wanting to touch you. Wanting to, you know, uh, heal you. Restore you. Bless you. But you might not be in the moment. You know, uh, Jacob slept somewhere. He said, he slept all night and he woke up in the morning and he said, God was in this place and I knew it not. God came to give him fantastic visions and dreams while he lay down to sleep. But he was so worried about his past. He was so anxious about his future. Then when he woke up in the morning, he said, wow, I had a company, <laughs> but I never really enjoyed the company. Hallelujah. So God wants us to enjoy. Someone say, I'm going to enjoy my now. Yeah, you're going to enjoy your now. You're going to make up your mind to enjoy your 2024. Can I hear an amen? Don't allow the, 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 the past, the 2023, the, the, the setbacks that happened, the struggles to keep you from enjoying your 2024. Look at, give me another translation here. Watch this. Uh, NLT. This is very powerful. This is what God is saying. This is a now word from God for you. He said, forget all that. That means everything in your past. It is nothing compared to what I'm going to do. Hallelujah. Hey. <laughs> Somebody say glory. God said, forget your past. It doesn't matter how good, your, how fantastic your past has been. Yeah, God says, it is nothing compared to what I am going to do. Amen. So your best days are not behind you. Yes. Your best days are still ahead of you. Amen. I say your best days are still ahead of you. Amen. Your future is colorful. Amen. It is bright. Amen. And you're going to future in it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In verse 19, look at what it says. It says, I am about to do a brown new thing. Hey, so I say God is about to do a brand new thing in my life, in my family, in my health, in my career, in my business, in everything that pertains to me. God said, I'm about to do a brand new thing. Yeah, somebody says something new is going to happen. So when every devil could begin to tell you, look at how you missed it, how you how you how you you blew it, the mistake. Say, hey, Mr. Devil, can you shut up? God is about to do a brand new thing. <laughs> Glory be to God. And he says, see, I have already begun. Do you not see? Does God is saying, look in your spirit. I'm telling you right now because I'm doing something already. Hallelujah. Yeah, God is saying, you are in a new year. Yes. That means new things have already begun. Every new year means God has opened a new chapter, yes. a new page. Yes. He has brought us to a new season, yes. new possibilities. So God has begun to do something new. He has ended yesterday, last year, mm -hmm. and he has begun something new. Can't you see you are in a new year? Hallelujah. Yeah. That means new possibilities await every one of us. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He said, I, see, I've already begun. Don't you see it? He said, I will even make a way, a pathway through the wilderness for my people. Amen. So that means no matter how 
difficult or how impossible it seems. You might not be able to see a way. God said, I will make a way. So God always has a way. There's a way to your victory. There's a way to your success. There's a way to your blessing. There's a way to everything we want from God. God said, I will make a way even in hard places, through the wilderness. I will create what? Rivers for, for them in the desert. That means I will cause there to be flow of my goodness, of my love, of my joy. Can I hear you? Amen. amen. Glory be to God. So some, some, some new things are going to happen. There's going to be a flow of favor. Flow of wisdom. Flow of blessings. Someone says something is flowing in my direction. Something good is flowing in my direction. God's going to let there be an increase of the flow of abundance Amen. of victories in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, you see what God wants to do for us? Eyes have not seen it. Yes. The Bible says eyes have not seen it. Ears have not heard it. It has not even entered the heart of man. What God has prepared for them that love him. Look at First uh, Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. You see, uh, maybe I should say this. The word of God is highly prophetic. God called those things that be not as though they were. The word of God is highly what? Prophetic. He says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It will not return to me void. It will accomplish what I please and prosper in the thing where to I sent it. Whenever God speaks a word, that word will come to pass. And God called the things that be not. He speaks about what is going to happen. If you can believe it. Yes. Hello somebody. Many people have missed God. Because when God is speaking. They can't receive what God is saying. And that's the goal of this teaching today. As we, as we progress. Look at it. Say, Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Neither have entered into the heart of men. The things which God has prepared for them that love him. Do you love God? Yes. So if you love God. God is saying eyes have not seen. Ears have no heart. It has not even entered the heart or the imagination of men. What God has prepared for them that love him. Give me the NLT. It's, it's more interesting. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You know, you have different versions of the Bible so you can be able to get the meat of the word. He said, what no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love. So in this year, God has prepared some things for you. There's something that has been prepared for you. Eyes have not seen it. Ears have not heard it. It has not even entered the imagination of heart. Maybe our own heart. But it said, God has prepared it. The next verse says, but God revealed them to us by his spirit. We know these things because God has revealed them to us by his spirit. That's why we know that's going to be a year of positive development. Amen. The spirit of God spoke to me that God would develop our lives, Amen. develop our career, develop our health, Amen. develop us this year. Yes. Can I hear you? Amen. Amen. Yeah. The spirit revealed it to us because the spirit searches everything and shows us even God's deep secret. Yes. That's what God is about to do. Amen. Can I hear you? Amen. Yes. But I'm Amazingly, look at verse 14. It says, the natural person, the carnal person, cannot receive the things of the spirit. Give me the classic amplified version. The carnal person, look at it. It says, but what? The natural, non-spiritual man or woman <laughs> does not accept or welcome or admit into his heart the gifts of God, the teachings, the revelations, the prophecy of God, because they are foolishness to him. Meaningless. They are nonsense to him. He or she is capable of receiving it. Hallelujah. So what, we, what do we want to do right now is that, we, that's why we're saying laying a firm foundation for God. We want to develop our spiritual nature. We don't want to be natural. We want to be spiritual. So I don't want to be natural. I want to be a spiritual person. Yeah, it's a, a the natural person, and I say the natural person is a non-spiritual 
person. Yes. When you see man, they are just put person. Yes. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Yes. Yeah. Does not accept or welcome. You see, God is a spirit. Yes. And everything that God does, he does it as a spirit. He said, yeah. He said, God is a spirit. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Yes. But if God is a spirit and you are natural or carnal, you cannot receive the things of the spirit. So we need to develop our spiritual nature yes. so that we can align ourselves with what God wants to do yes. Yes. in our life. The development that God wants to bring into our life, we need to be spiritually sensitive and in alignment with God. Can I hear an amen? amen? Yeah, because if God is telling you something that is spiritual and you are carnal, you are natural, you, you, you'll be thinking with your natural mind. And God is talking about the things of the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Remember I said to Peter, for, uh, let's use Peter as an example. Peter toured all night and caught nothing. Amen. On the same sea, Jesus came and met him in that same position. And Jesus said to him, launch out now your net in, launch out your uh, cast your net into the deep for a great draft. Luke 5, verse 5 and 6. Peter said to Jesus, What do you mean? I have been here all night <laughs> and I caught nothing. You are not telling me to cast my net into the deep. What deep? Which deep have I not been to? You see, in the natural, that's the way he was reasoning. But he switched and he said, nevertheless, at your word, I will let it down. You see, the word of God, they are spirit and they are life. John chapter 6, verse 63. He said, the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. So it takes a spiritual person to receive the word of God. The natural man cannot receive the things of the spirit because they are foolishness to him. Many of us have the Bible, the word of God, which is the spirit, the creative power of God. But we never research it to see what God has for us in his word. Everything you need in your life, everything that I need in my life is in this word. But because our carnal nature is too steered, when you are broke, you, are, you cry. But when you are broke, you are not supposed to be crying. You are supposed to look at what God says concerning his word. That he will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. That Because you don't see anything in your bank account does not mean there is no supply for you. God is the source of your total supply. But because of our natural mind, we cannot receive the things of the spirit. 2024 has come right now. God wants to do new things. He wants to develop your life, develop your character, develop your health, develop you, develop me, develop us, bring new possibilities. If we stay natural, we cannot receive what God wants to do. It will just be another year. Yes. <laughs> just like Peter said, I have told all night, but can I prophesy? It will not be another year for you. It will be a great year for you. I say it will be a great year for you. A great year of victory, a great year of success, a great year of accomplishment, a great year of development. He said, nevertheless, at your word, you, I will let down the net. You, that means he engaged the spirit. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So what we need to do is to build our spiritual uh, nature. So that our carnal nature will not rob us from what God has for us. Yeah. You see, the Christian faith is an adventure it's a call to an adventure of you know in life yeah god wants us to experience spiritual things i mean great things in our life it's an invitation but many people never take on the invitation of god they are too natural to receive what the spirit of god is saying go, give me that scripture again please first corinthians 2 14 can we look at it can we go deeper is any is god helping anybody yet Yes. Yeah, because I want to show you, I want, I want to help us to see how we can develop our spirit. Uh, the NLT, the, I mean the classic Amplified version, very powerful. Glory to God. 
Amen. Amen. He said, "What the natural, but the natural, non-spiritual." Somebody say, "I will not be natural. <laughs> I will not be carnal. I will not be a non-spiritual person." Say, "I want to be spiritual. I want to be a spiritual person." Hallelujah! I want to be a person of the spirit this year. Hallelujah! Don't be a natural person. You see, uh, there are many people who are called Christians. But they are carnal Christians. Mm. They are not spiritual Christians. It's not every Christian that is spiritual. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Many. many I, I mean, I've been a pastor now. I've been, I've been a pastor by the grace of God, full time since 20, uh, 2002. How many years is that now? Twenty-one. 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 Okay. By the grace of God. Huh? 20, 20, 2002. Full time. That's 23. 23. Okay. 21, 23. Whatever it is. By the grace of God. So I can tell you, I've seen things and I know things. Many Christians are not spiritual because they don't do spiritual things. They do natural things. You can't tell between some Christians and, and, um, and unbelievers. You can never tell. Because what the spiritual, you see, the adventure. You see, when I became a Christian, Jesus appeared to me many years ago. I was in another religion, but Jesus appeared to me. And I began to walk, Jesus began to speak to me. When he appeared to me, he began to teach me the Bible, began to speak to me. But one day I went to church. Jesus appeared to me, but I went to church, and I heard the pastor preaching. He said, if you have been born again, and you are not filled with the Holy Spirit, come out, I want to pray. I said, ah. I thought the ultimate was having Jesus in my life. Which one is the Holy Spirit? I want it. I jump out. Listen, I want to experience everything that God wants me to experience in my spiritual walk, in my adventure of faith. I don't want to leave anything out. Yeah. Be like that. Can I hear your amen? There are People who God has called, they never read the Bible. Every time they read the, start reading the Bible, they fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. There are somebody that comes and say, every time I start reading the Bible, I fall asleep. I say, read it. When you wake up, continue. That means you need a sleep. God give you sleep. When you wake up, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't just stop reading. Can, that's, how you, that's how you develop your, your relationship and your spirit with God. Can I hear an amen? amen? So, Peter, for instance, and listen to this. Jesus was walking on the water. And they were in the storm. The disciples were in the storm. And they saw Jesus on the water. And Jesus said, they saw they were afraid. Jesus said, no, it is I. Don't be afraid. Then this, Peter said, if it is you, tell me to come. Peter, Jesus said, come. Come and experience something supernatural. Come and walk on the water. He didn't say, Peter, come. He said to all the disciples, come. But guess what? Only Peter got up. The remaining sat on their chair on, in the boat. They fastened their silver and said, ah. <laughs> <laughs> they never stepped out. That's why that's how many people have not stepped out in the things of the spirit to experience what God wants to do in their life. Learn to step out with God because God is a spirit. He will not tell you to do natural things. He will tell you to do what the spirit does. So you can build your spirit so that when he begins to instruct you, when he begins to prompt you, when he begins to steer you, the things that will develop your life, your spirit can connect with his spirit. And you can receive what the spirit is passing across to you. Yes. Can I hear your amen? Yes. So one of the ways, and that's what we're into today, we can develop our spirit is to look at Jesus. Jesus developed his spirit. How did Jesus develop his spirit? I will show you three ways and we're going to pray. Quickly. Hallelujah. Amen. The first way, look at Mark chapter 1. Mark chapter 1, verse 12. Glory to God. Amen. This is the way to build up your spirit, man. It says, um, go to, start, can we start from verse 10 or 11? As, yeah, okay, no, verse 9. It came to pass in those days that Jesus went, Jesus came from Nazareth to Galilee and was baptized 
of John in Jordan. Hello, somebody. And straight away coming out of the water, he saw the heavens open and the spirit like a dove descending on him. And there came a voice from heaven, said, Thou art my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. And immediately what the spirit driveth him into the wilderness. Somebody said the spirit driveth him. The spirit was his driver. The spirit was driving him like he, he drove him. He was the, the, <laughs> the one that made the move and moved Jesus. Verse uh, 13. And he was there in the wilderness 40 days. Hallelujah. So I say 40 days. 40 days. Yeah. Tempted of Satan and with the wild beast and the angels ministered to him. Go to Luke chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. Look at what he was doing in the wilderness. Look at it here so that we can understand. Jesus, being full of the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. The same driven, led. Being 40 days tempted of the devil, and in those days, what? He did it nothing. So, what was the first thing that the Spirit led him to do? To go into the wilderness for 40 days to eat nothing. That is to fast. So how do you develop your spirit? Number one, through fasting. Don't let that word scare you. <laughs> Get excited about it. Hallelujah. Through what? Fasting. Jesus heard the voice of God say, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. And the first thing the spirit led him to do was to fast. He was building his spirit. Can I hear an amen? He was building himself. He was developing his spirit. You know, um, how does fasting make us spiritual? The difference between a spirit and a human is that God is a spirit. God does not eat. God does not eat food. Hallelujah. God lives on something we're going to see in a minute. Hallelujah. So how do you build your spirit? By also learning not to eat. John 4 24 says, God is a spirit, and they that worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth. You see, God became man to experience what it feels like to be a man or a human. We also, he became man, he became man. We also need to do something to make us be or feel how God feels. One of the things we need to do is to fast. That's how we're going to develop our spiritual nature. Yes. Can I hear you? Amen. amen. Jesus fasted 40 days and 40 nights. We're not going to be fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. We're going to be fasting for 21 days. Hello, somebody. Amen. amen. So you can build your spirit. Can I hear you? Amen. amen. You say, how does that build my spirit? Look at Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 2 to 3, and I'll get, look at the New Living Translation. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 8, and verse number 2 and 3. I like this young man very much. I like the way he's trying to open the Bible. What's your name? Michael. Michael. But I, like, I like, yeah. <laughs> God's going to use you. Don't stop. Amen. Very important. Yeah, I like that. Yes. Amen. <laughs> look at this now. Look at, are you with me? Look at this. Sorry, I don't know what translation you have, but that's how you're going to use your translation, but we're going to get together. It says, remember how the Lord your God led you through the wilderness 40 years. So God's way is to lead people. He led the children of Israel yes. for 40 years. He led Jesus for 40 days. What was the goal? Humbling you and testing you to prove your character or to develop your character to find out whether or not you will really obey his commandment it takes a spiritual person to obey god's command or god's prompting yes. it takes a person that is developed in the spirit he said the natural man cannot obey the things of the spirit yeah hallelujah yeah, it takes, it takes, it takes, uh, uh, what's it called? Romans, give me Romans chapter 8. Let me, let's do some teaching. Why am I, why, why, why are you putting pressure on me to hurry? <laughs> Romans chapter 8, look at something here. Very, Romans chapter 8, verse 5, and we're going to come back to this in, in, in a minute. Romans 8, look at it. For they that are after the flesh uh -huh. do the things 
of the flesh. They that are after the spirit, the things of what? The spirit. Keep going. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is death means failure. Loss is disaster. But to be spiritual minded is what? Life and peace. God wants you to have life, great life, victorious life, and to have peace. And the way to have it is to be what? Spiritually minded. Go to the next verse. Because what? The carnal mind, the natural mind, is enemy against God. It is not subject to the laws of God or to the things of God. Neither indeed can be. Hallelujah. It cannot respond to the things of God. The carnal, the natural person, is enemy. Everything, how do you know somebody is natural? Anything God says to do, the person wants to do the opposite. If you ever find yourself wanting to do opposite of the things that God says to do, then know that you are natural. You see, you are, we are Christians, we are in the faith. If you go to, if you, if you are a basketballer, if you play basketball or football or soccer, athletes have regular routines that they do. That is, if you want to be a footballer, you have to do those things. You can't be a footballer, they say, we are going for exercise. You say, I'm not going for exercise. <laughs> you will never future in any game. But in the church, cannot, that's why I say, it's not every Christian that is spiritual. Everything God says they should do, they don't want to do it. It's because they are carnal. They are natural. God said, let's exercise ourselves in fasting. Jesus fasted. The one that heard, this is my beloved son in woman. Well, please fast for 40 days and 40 nights. You, you are not even sure of your salvation. You can't fast for one day. You should be, <laughs> you should be afraid of yourself. <laughs> Maybe you've never heard it. That's good, but you can learn. That's why we're here. You have to be excited to learn to fast. If you have never fasted before, say, ah, I want to do what Jesus did. I want to fast. Someone say, I want to do what Jesus did. I want to fast. Go back to my scripture now. Deuteronomy chapter number 8, verse number 3. Are we still together? Yeah. It, it says what? It says, it humble. Look, okay, go to verse 2. Let's do verse 2. Let's read together. It says, remember how the Lord your God led. Someone say, God is leading me. <laughs> how do you know? God? You know what people say? God is leading me. <laughs> Some people only know when God is leading them. If they are going to eat, God led me to this restaurant. <laughs> God led me to this restaurant. God led me to do all the things that God is leading them to do is carnal things, not spiritual things. <laughs> I'm not talking to you because God led me to be to, to, to keep malice. Look at is God leading me to, to live in unforgiveness? I will never forgive you because the Spirit is telling me not to forgive you. You see, so you have to begin to hear when someone says, God, God is leading me say, to do what? <laughs> he said, remember how the Lord your God led you through the wilderness for 40 years, humbling you. Testing you, God will lead you to humility, something that will humble you, make you feel humble. When you started fasting, you're going to be humble. <laughs> you're gonna, yeah, you're going to be humble. Your flesh is going to be crucified to prove your character. When you are fasting, your boss that used to annoy you can't annoy you anymore. Because when she starts or he or she starts making the trouble, you don't have energy to reply. <laughs> the work will go well that day. If you're in school, you're going to be obedient to your teacher. Say quiet. Say, yeah, I'm, I, in fact, I need to be quiet because right now I'm not in the mood to, to talk. So I'm not going to be making any kind of, yeah. To find out whether or not you will really obey his commandment. Verse 3. Glory to God. He said, he humbled you by letting you go what? Hungry. Didn't Jesus hunger? Yeah. So, he, he, that's even Jesus. When Jesus came to the earth, I'm the son of God. Jesus said, I want to, God knows, I want to know whether you are my son or not. Holy Spirit, take him to the wilderness. 40, 40 days and 40 nights. Leave him with devils. You know, you never know whether you're a child of God until you are in the midst of devils and wild beasts. 
and you can still not curse. <laughs> like Job's wife said to Job, say, curse God and die. Can a woman, he said, you speak like one of those foolish women. Even though he slay me, yet I will trust him. That's why Job got back twice everything he lost. Listen, and Job was a spiritual man. When you obey God, when you walk in the spirit, anything that you lose, you're going to get it back. Your life is going to be great. Double blessing are going to come into your hand. Multiple blessings. Look at it. It says, look, watch this now. It says, he humbled you, letting you go hungry, then feeding you with manna. A food previously known unto your as, uh, you and your ancestors, he did it to teach you that what people need more than bread for their life. I want to announce to you: you need more than bread. You need more than sandwich. You need <laughs> you need more than McDonald's. You need you need more than pancake for your life. For what? Read on. Say what? Real life comes by feeding on every word of the Lord. One more time. Real life, real successful life, real victorious life, real life of blessing comes by feeding on every word of God. So when you are fasting and you feel hungry, you're going to go to the word of God and find some snacks in the Psalms. <laughs> he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Your spirit will be fed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. So when you are when you are when you are hungry, you go to the word of God and find some spiritual meal in the scripture. Snacks. Can I hear an amen? Delicious snacks in Proverbs. You're going to find a lot of them. It's a wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get it. With all you're getting, get understanding. I will not do foolish things anymore. I'm going to be wise. Can I hear an amen? You're going to find snacks. It's because real life, God wants you to have real life. Real life comes by feeding on every word of the Lord. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna read this. You see, you don't memorize scripture, but once you read it enough, it's gonna be in your spirit. Many people, when they when you speak to them, nothing spiritual come. You say the word that I speak, they are spirit. What you hear from them is carnality, carnal things, not spiritual things. Carnal things come out of them. When I when I got married many years ago, when I first got married, I used to be very angry. When my wife offend me, I would not eat <laughs> for a couple of days. It's my I gave the money for the food. She has prepared the food. I'm hungry now. I did not. I'm not eating. Am I not hurting myself? But one day I was going through the scripture and I read somewhere. It said, "If you eat that trouble his house, shall inherit the wind." And he said, the angry man is a fool. I said, eh! The angry man is a fool. I said, I will never be a fool again in my life. Since that day, there is nothing my wife does to me. I will never be angry because the, ang the anger rested in the bosom of fools. Wow. Some people say, oh, it's my, you see how it's in the Bible. So, so say, when, they, when they insult you, you just smile. <laughs> Because I'm a spiritual man. Your insult means nothing to me. <laughs> what God says about me means more to me than your insult. Your opinion is to yourself. You don't even know me. <laughs> so my spirit is built. That's why they, when they said to Jesus, they say, he, he has demons. Jesus said, me, I have demons. <laughs> I know from whence I came. <laughs> you don't know even where I came from. You have your, your father, the devil. <laughs> Me, I'm from above. You say I have demons. It's a spiritual man. The opinion of God matters more to you. So the first way, I hope you are not missing this, is to develop our spirit, is to fast. Someone say fast. Fasting means abstaining from food and drink 
for the purpose of developing your walk with God. Yes. You read your Bible. Hello, somebody. You open up to God. Let God minister to you by his spirit. You're going to crucify the flesh. And it means like you're going to abstain from food. It's not for 40 days, for 21 days. And it's not like you're not going to eat the whole 21 days. That's not the one we are doing. You're going to miss maybe breakfast and lunch, then eat early dinner. And if you get thirsty, you can drink water because we, we heard that he hungered. He didn't say he tested. So possibly he was drinking. <laughs> so he can drink. <laughs> Hello, somebody. The goal is not to kill you. He says he just want to humble you. He didn't say he wants to kill you. <laughs> so <laughs> he wants to humble you, not to kill you. So, <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. But in the process, the second thing that builds your spirit, it says, real life comes by feeding on the word of God. The second thing that builds our spirit is feeding on scripture. Yes. yes. You study the word. In the time of fasting, read the Bible. Mm -hmm. Start reading from the book of John. You don't know where to read. Start reading from the book of John. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Hello. Yeah, it said the word that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. John 6, 63. Give me that scripture. John 6, 63. Somebody say, read the word of God. Read the word of God. It said the, uh, yeah, it said what? It is the spirit who what gives eternal life. Human effort what? Accomplishes nothing. Hey. And the very word I have spoken what? To you are spirit and they are like, so his words build our spirit. Yes. Someone say his words. His words. They, build my they build my spirit. They develop my spirit. Develop my so spirit. when I had to become spiritual by feeding on his word. Yes. Yeah, real, real spiritual people feed on the word. Yes. The only thing God has or feeds on is his word. We don't hear God do anything in the scripture. The only thing we hear him do is talk. <laughs> so he lives on his word. Yes. He feeds on his word. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He operates everything by his word. So for you to be a spiritual person, you must be a word person. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. And then the third thing is to pray in the spirit. Yes. Somebody say pray in the spirit. Pray. Pray. Yeah, pray in the spirit. Pray with your understanding. Also pray in the spirit. If you are filled with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongue, pray in the spirit. Jude 1 verse 20. Jude 1 20. Jude 1 20. He says, build up yourself on your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Shaga de gada lama shaga de gada 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 Say, what am I saying? You don't need to understand what you are saying. You are speaking spirits. What in the spirit? Hallelujah. Says, when I'm speaking in tongue, I don't understand what I'm saying. Yeah, the Bible never says you, should, you understand what you're saying. He said in 1 Corinthians 4 verse 2, 1 Corinthians 14 verse 2. He said, he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, look at it now, speaketh not to men, but unto God. He said, no man understandeth him. Howbeit in the spirit he speaking mysteries, deep secrets. So when you are praying in the spirit, you are talking to God. It's a means of communication between you and God that bypasses Satan. No man understands what you are saying. Not even the devil understands what you are saying. So that God wants to communicate to you in a way that no man say what, what God has planned to do for us. Eyes have not seen it. Ears have not heard it. It has not even entered the heart of men. But God reveals them to us by his spirit. So God would download some things into your spirit that the devil can't stop. Your neighbors can't hinder. No principality and power can hinder. Because you are praying in the spirit so God will be communicating to you in the spirit. That's why if you are not filled with the Holy Spirit, desire this month that you're going to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I want to speak in tongues. That's why I said, I told you, when I heard that I, want, I said I want to speak in tongues. And if you not re reach out to me by the grace of God, I'm going to help you to get filled with the Holy Spirit in the process. It doesn't take much for you to be filled and to speak with tongues. But God wants you to have it. Can I hear you? Amen. Yeah. And then your spirit man will be developed. So I mean, what, what, how many things are we going to do to develop our spirit? Three. Number one, what? Fasting. Number two. Fasting. Number three. Fasting. Praying in your understanding and also praying in the spirit. So you see, you have to do both. Not just pray. You know, sometimes you pray with your understanding. You prayer is talking to God. 
So when you are when you are fasting, talk to God more. Talk less to people and talk more to God. So I say, I'm going to talk to God. Yeah. So talk to God and then. You're going to see God change your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me give you one benefit of fasting before we go. You see, the devil always robs people's, dest rob, rob people's destiny by food. The cheapest means the devil can defeat anybody is through food. He did it for Eve. How did he rob Eve and Adam from Garden of Eden? He just gave them the fruit to eat. Once they eat, ate it, they were defeated. He did it with Esau, Jacob's brother. He sold his bad tribe by eating food. He tried to do it for Jesus. He told Jesus to turn stone to bread. Somebody that is hungry, he said, turn the stone to bread. What does it mean? That means Jesus was going to eat and break his fast. <laughs> Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone. So the devil robs people by giving them food. He will not rob you of your own destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. So receive grace. And like I will say to you, as in the American culture, consult your doctor to see whether you can fast. <laughs> Hallelujah. But fasting will never kill you. It will, it will draw you closer to God. And use wisdom. You can fast from morning to 12. Try baby steps. Then if you fast from morning to 12, you say, oh, I'm still alive. <laughs> then, it, then tomorrow again, go to 12.30 or 12.15 until you can get to like maybe 5. Can I hear you? Amen. Amen. But before 21 days, you're going to find that you are getting closer to God. Amen. Your spirit man is being built up. Amen. Your life is changing. Yeah. Miracles are going to be happening in your life. Amen. The things that you know others cannot do, you're going to find yourself doing them because God is going to be speaking to your spirit. Amen. That's the secret of Jesus. You're going to walk on waters of miracles and blessing in your life. In Jesus' name. Did you receive anything today? Yes. Give the Lord a baby clap of a shout, scream. Oh, clap your hands, all oh, you people. Say, Father, thank you. Say, I'm ready for spiritual builder, for spiritual foundation. Open your mouth and begin to pray right now. Start and begin to pray. Say, Lord, I receive grace. Rabba Shagada Baba. Say, God, thank you for speaking to me. Thank you for speaking to my heart. Thank you for steering me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, O oh God, for grace. Rabba Shagada Gada 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 Gada. Ruba Seke Teke Lege Dege Dege Dege. Kunda Lamba Ndere Masika Rabba Seke Dege. Father, thank you for everyone that has heard this word. We thank you that this word will take root in our heart. This word will take root in our heart. It will bear fruit in our lives. Our spirit will be developed. We will not be weak this year. We will not be weak. We will not be mediocre. We are going to do something supernatural. We are going to go places we have never gone. We are going to do what we have never done before. We are going to have what we have never heard. Our lives are going to be built up. In the name of Jesus, man can taraba soko teri bedebe. Kunda balima seke te kalaba. Kele brando skoberi ba 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 ba. Thank you, Father. Librando skobo bo 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 seke te. Kila ma seke te be. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Receive grace to also study your word in this period of fasting, that you begin to snack on the word of God. You're gonna feed on the word of God, so you can live real life, real life of victory that God has for you, real life of success that God has for you. Receive grace. Talk to God. Talk to God. Shake it, takalaba, shake it, take it. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. Receive grace also to pray, to pray, to pray, to pray. Jesus said, men ought always to pray. People ought always to pray. Say, Lord, I receive grace to give myself to prayer in the next 21 days. To pray like I've never prayed before. To talk to you. To communicate with you. Speak to me, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Our fasting starts tomorrow. Uh, 8 to the 28th. So I want to encourage you to do it. Uh, but like I said, consult your doctor to see whether you, are, you can fast. But God will give us the grace in Jesus' name. And God will bless us mightily. So we, we, we just from morning to like uh, 5 p.m., you know, if you can get to 5, if you can get to 3, whatever way, just do it and just open up your heart to God to see what God will do in your life. Amen. I want to pray for you.
please all head about all eyes are closed if you don't know jesus as your lord and personal savior you've not given your heart to the lord you are not born again yet or you are born again but you are not really really connected to god but today you want to take a step and say lord i want to be connected to you i want to have the real life i want to go to the, I want to take my relationship with you to the next level. I want to be a child of God. I want to be a, 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 a spiritual Christian. I want to give my heart to the Lord. I want you to say this prayer of me, mean it in your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, today I ask you to come into my heart to be my Lord and my Savior. Say, Lord, I acknowledge I'm a sinner, but please forgive me my sin. Write my name in your book of life. Say, Jesus, I confess you today that you died and you rose again so I can be justified. Thank you for saving me in the name of Jesus. And if you are rededicating your life, say, Lord, I recommit my life to you. I want to take my relationship with you to another level this year. I want to, re I want to live the real life of peace, joy, and victory that you have for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I give you praise and I call it done in Jesus' mighty name. If you say that prayer with me, if you're in the house, please lift up your right hand. I want to pray for you. Anybody giving his or her life today? God bless that hand. Lift it high. Lift it high. God bless you. God bless that hand. God bless that. I see your hand. I see your hand. God bless you. Lift it high. I want to pray for you. Just keep the hand lifted. I want to pray for you also online. Yes. Father Lord, thank you for these ones who are rededicating their lives to you, who are giving their hearts to you for the first time. I pray that your grace that saved this one, let that same grace keep and preserve them. In the name name of Jesus Christ. Lord, the desire they have indicated, Lord, give them the empowerment to be able to live for you. Let your Holy Spirit take hold of their life and their mind in the name of Jesus Christ. We command Satan's hold and influence to break in your life. We decree a new beginning for you in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. You can put your hands down. A little pamphlet will put in your hand if you are here in the house online. Also, I want to send that pamphlet to you. I want to encourage you to read it it will help you to develop in your work with God. If you are watching online, you give your heart to the Lord on Orphan Global. There's a button coming on your screen. Let me know you give your heart to the Lord. I want to send the same materials to you wherever you are in the name of Jesus. Email me. My email address is info at hoffan.org. That's I-N-F-O at H-O-F-F-A-N dot O-R-G. It's the information is on your screen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Father, we thank you for this powerful move, powerful our word in the name of Jesus. Can we all lift up our hands? Father, we receive grace this period to develop our spirit man. We ask, oh God, that the work of the flesh will not hinder us from what you want to do, the development you want to build in our life. We ask, oh God, our spirit man is built in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, touch every person. Lay your hands upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Can you put your hand on your head? Say, Lord, lay your hands upon my life, oh God. I want to be, I want to be filled with your spirit. Walk in your ways. Honor you in all I do. Bringing glory to your name. Father, Lord, fill every one of us with your spirit, O oh God. Let your spirit continue to lead us, move us, guide us, and direct us in Jesus' mighty name. You shall experience positive development in your life this year in Jesus' mighty name. Give the Lord a big, big clap of him. Hallelujah! Oh, come on, shout hallelujah, scream, celebrate, hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Come on, clap those hands, shout, make it. Thank you, Father. Are you happy? Did you receive God's word? Amen. Take your seat, God bless you. We're closing in two minutes or three. Yeah. Amen. One more thing we're going to do. Let's honor God with our substance. Let's give God an offering. The Bible says we should honor the Lord with our substance and with the first fruit of all our increase. So our bands can be filled with plenty. How many people want plenty? Yeah, the harvest always follows the seed. So let's give an offering to God. Our offering helps to uh, bring our tithe. He said, that let there be, uh, bring all the tithe so that there may be meat in my house. Your tithe is 10% of your income. It is holy and set apart to God. Every offering we give helps the kingdom of God to move forward. Amen. And God will bless you in Jesus' name. You can give your offering. Uh, for those of us in the house, you can give cash. You can use credit card slip. They're on your seat. You can give by Zelle. 
text to give. The information is on your screen. For those of you watching online, you can go to hoffan.org, click the give button. If you need an assistance, somebody can help you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father. So we take what we call the seed faith offering. I want you to give a seed faith offering. That is, you are wrapping your faith around the seed and believing God that this uh, month will be a great month for you in the name of Jesus. That this month you will develop your spiritual foundation, that the word of God will come to pass in your life. So take a seed faith offering and give to God. And God will multiply the seed you sow in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you. All right, let's pray. Father, we thank you. You are the one that ministers seed to the sower, bread to the eater. You multiply the seed we sow. You increase the fruit of our righteousness. I pray that you bless every giver today. Lord, I pray for all titers. Open the windows of heaven over the lives of our titers. Pour our blessings that there will not be room enough to receive it. Rebuke the devourer for our sakes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I also pray for any and everyone giving the seed faith offering. Honor the faith of your people. And every offering that is given today, oh God, let the seed that leave our hand not leave our lives. Let it go into our future to become a mighty harvest. We give you praise, oh God, that this year indeed will answer in our life as our year of positive developments in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Hallelujah. Please come and drop your offering. God bless you. Those of you sowing online, God bless you. Good measure. Press down. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Michael. God bless you. When you give Amen. All right, we want to listen to this, I mean, announcement and then welcome our guest. Let me allow, let's welcome back Bishop Elect to do that. Good servant today for that word. That was good word. Amen. Ooh, real life. <laughs> we don't live only on bread. We live on the word of God. Amen. Amen. We thank God for everyone on Zoom, everyone on Hoffman Global, Facebook, YouTube. Thank you for being a part of the service, especially those on Hoffman Global. Let us know those that um, gave your heart to the Lord. We'll reach out to you. So send a, um, a message to the host. And then those on YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Those on FM TV Live, keep watching. There's another program coming up after this. We love you. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. And then Friday night in successory prayers, we have 7.30 p.m. And then Saturday morning, 7.30 a.m. And then on Sunday morning, we have the 10 a.m. service at the Marietta location. And then 6 p.m. in Hiram. So go to hoffan.org, get all the information, directions, and you're able to get all the services during the week. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Amen.